Welcome back to Dorm Room Rebuilds. Today we're going to be working on a Honda CRF 450R. Now I just picked this bike up. Pretty much unknown issues, unknown everything about it. Got a really good deal on it, so we're going to see if we can't make it run. First, I'm going to throw some fuel in it, see if it kicks over, fires over, and then diagnose the issues from there. So that's where I'm going to start. So I just took this thing for its first ride. I noticed a couple things. One, this thing is heavy as shit. It is so heavy. Two, there's a big old oil leak coming right out of the chain tensioner. It's dripping all over the place. That's an issue. Another issue is it doesn't like to stay running. It sounds clanky when it's trying to idle. Now, I was told when I bought this bike that the timing was gonna be done, which could be the cause of both not running properly and the clanking noise if it's not firing at the correct time. That can cause basically a lot of issues in the engine. So we're gonna go through and check the timing. Now this bike has three timing locations, one on the left side of the, or the, yeah, the left side of the engine, one on the right side, and then the cam timing on top. So we're gonna go through, check all of those, see if they're good. I'm also going to do a full clean on this bike polish the aluminum and basically get it looking as good as possible. And hopefully at the same time, we'll get it to run a lot better. So guys, I have a very slight issue with the timing and let me show you what it is. So if we go over here, we can see that our mark right there lines up with that, which is good. However, if we come over to this side, we can see that our mark up here is not completely level with the top of the head. And our timing here is good, which means that this needs to shift forward just that much. And when we do that, we can see that our firing is now not in line with our gear here, which means it's off like, probably like a tooth. So we're gonna shift this top gear up a tooth and see if that fixes our issues.
Friends. Hope we did it. Yeah. Okay, I might have just been stupid and flooded it because I forgot to put the spark boot back on. Dumb mistakes, dumb mistakes. Well, it runs pretty good now. I'm gonna see if I can't start it up for you all. It really is a lot to kickstart for little old me though. Looks like it's leaking a lot of freaking oil out of the exhaust. So, yeah, that's not good. So off camera, I fixed the oil leak. The I just messed up on the top gasket. It was crimped a little bit and leaking oil. And so everything should be ready to go. The cam gear is now aligned. The chain is tensioned for the, the timing chain. Um, yeah, let's give her a quick start, see if she works. As you can hear that thing runs amazing now it's time to clean it up get it looking nice and that's what you're gonna see me do now got this thing pretty cleaned up and I'm getting ready to sell it the guy should be here soon uh, after I sell it I'll go over an update of how much time money and profit I made on this bike it was honestly pretty quick and pretty easy so in the next clip I'll be going over that so I just sold the bike and I don't have a whiteboard here at home so you're just gonna just gonna put it up here on the screen so I bought the bike here for $1,300 I put five dollars worth of parts in it i had to buy a gas line and that's it and then i turned around worked on it for the night and then i sold it for 2300 so i made a profit of a thousand dollars on this bike which is pretty good for a night's worth of work i'd say and uh yeah good quick flip and uh it's on to the next project i just picked up a jeep so stay tuned and i'm going to be working on a four-wheeled vehicle this time so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be posting more content soon. Have a good one.